Good morning. I'm at Wat Pra Sin, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's uh, one of the more visited and more important temples in Chiang Mai. So you can see behind me, there's this huge gold structure. Um, that's really quite amazing. And there's another smaller one over here. Um, go for a little walk around it. This temple was built um, in the 1300s, I believe. I'm not too sure exactly what the history is. Um, there's a lot of information out there. Um, there's definitely, um, it's still being used and there's still festivals here. When I went in earlier, um, they, they're taking donations from foreigners, but there's also ties that are going in and purchasing these flowers and incense and candles and putting out um, on the altars. Um, so I went and I sat in front of a monk for a while. There's some more monks. I don't know if you can see them. And they sprinkled water on us and they tied a piece of yarn around my wrist. So I'm not really sure what it is. I'll have to ask Julie later um, what was that about and if I should have participated or not. Um, but yeah, it's, this is an active temple on a Sunday morning. I spent last night traveling the whole night. Um, two flights with a layover in Bangkok. So I slept four not very restful hours in the airport. And then I slept an hour on the couch in the hostel when I got there this morning before they opened, which was very sweet of them to let me sleep there on their couch. Um, so it's nearing the end of the trip. I've got about a week left here. Um, and I'm still going strong trying to keep doing something and moving around every day. And I'm, I'm not seeing the whole rhythm and vibe of a city, um, but I'm seeing lots of stuff. And Brianna had mentioned coming here maybe for a trip and it would be nice to come back with her and like actually spend time seeing some of this stuff um, in some more detail. So I'm sort of getting what there is to do here and what places are cool and what places are filled with tourists and expats um, and scams. So um, I'll be better prepared next time I come. But you have to see this. This is the main temple, I think. Um, it's guarded by these dragons. And this is actually the back side of it. The front side also has the dragon. And inside, there's a couple, there's one giant copper Buddha. And then there's um, other smaller ones around him. And that's where I was sitting earlier, um, where most of the people seem to be going. So I think one of these buildings is a monastery, I mean, a library that has scrolls from. Um, the 1300s, 1600s, 